Another great thing about dungeons that I completely forgot about. Can he reach me? Oh, that sword's going to die on me. There we go. Oh, no, that sword's going to die on me. Yeah, there's the spawner. We're going to wait for it to spawn another... Oh, it already has. Shit. Then we need to beat it to death with a pick. I should be using my iron pick for this. There we go. Now it will not spawn anymore. There we go. Zombies ain't so bad to handle. So yeah, here's the actual entrance to the dungeon that I did not... F so I didn't find it properly. But yeah, see, it's got moss and cobblestone and whatnot. It always has a spawner. I don't know if it always has a treasure chest, but look at this. Oh, shit. There he is. How about a little bow action? Oh yeah. Didn't like that, did you? Bet you did not. Wow, check it out. The dungeon led to another cave. Well, like I said, this is the entrance. This is the way I was supposed to find the dungeon. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. So yeah, we found bread. That heals stuff. We found wheat that makes bread. We found some of that red dust I told you guys about. It essentially works like an electric current. So it can do all kinds of nifty things like make traps and automated doors and different things. And uh, It's pretty cool. Holy crap! Damn! I found a freaking... <laughs> oh, ominous music. Like I said, that means there's a cave. Well, I think I found the cave. What do you guys think? I think this could be the cave that it's talking about? Alright. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is probably end up killing myself. But as long as I hold shift, I should be okay. I'm going to build a bridge. Oh, I see some iron. This is really nerve-wracking. As long as I don't let up on shift, though. I don't have that shift warning where if you hold it for f more than five seconds or anything, that it'll pop up with a stupid message. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. This is dumb. I'm not going to get this back, see, because I'm not picking it with a stone pick or anything. So that thing I mentioned about how you don't get anything from diamond unless you use a, ah, damn it, unless you use a uh, iron pick. It actually applies with simple things like stone too, because uh, oh I'm running out of torches. Did I bring any coal with me? What the hell's down that way? Another pit? Wow, this has been quite a session. You know what? This doesn't really look too safe. I guess I'll be okay, as long as I'm not stupid about it. I want that iron. Really badly. I'll go ahead and demonstrate the iron pick. I mean, it's a huge difference. Look at that. Even in getting more iron. Oh, this is bad. Never dig directly under yourself. Ever. Under any circumstances. Oh, there it goes! Come back! Oh, shit. <laughs> back up. Looks like you can get down this way. And if I had some lava in a bucket, I could drop it and see better. I can build a kind of a stairway. Oh, more iron! Jesus Christ, man, would you look at this? I'm going to build my way back up this way. Let's see here. So, I'm using my iron pick, aren't I? It's a waste. It's not enough iron. Well, you wouldn't believe it, the way my world spawns it, but uh, not enough iron to just willy-nilly use it like that. Just because my world spawned loads of it doesn't mean I have to be a fool. 
and uh, just abuse it like crazy. Oh my god, would you look at that? I need to place another torch now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Beautiful, beautiful iron! I cannot believe this. Alright, much like the same way you don't want to dig below yourself, you don't want to dig above yourself either. Because, like I said, you can drown yourself with gravel or sand. So that was dumb. But, uh, you know, we'll just pretend I didn't do it. How's that sound? Oh my god, all this iron. I just cannot believe this. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh! I'm not holding shift. Damn, that was stupid. Alright. We'll put this last torch there. That's my last torch, so. Can't go exploring anymore. Besides, it's probably day by now. What do you think? Let's get out of here. Get out of my way, Gravel. Let's go ahead and clear all this. This dungeon's empty now. We got the spawner. Ooh, we found another treasure chest. Oh, I placed a torch on top of that. Uh, I can't tell if that's nighttime music or daytime music. I think that's nighttime music. Yeah, so it must still be nighttime out there. Maybe nighttime music plays when you're in a cave. What else have we got here? We got more bread. Can that bread stack? No, it cannot. Found more steel. And a saddle! Alright, I can show you guys what a saddle does this time around, too. Damn, is there anything I don't need? Yeah, these chests work as a storage, too, so... You know what you can do with a saddle? Do you guys know what you can do with a saddle? You can ride pigs. <laughs> yes. Yes. It is awesome. That must be coming day right now. I cannot believe all this iron I found. It's becoming day now. Cool. Oh my god. We got more for you too. How about that? Oh my god, I cannot believe how lucky I am. You guys have no idea if you've never played this before. Oh my god. Just watch. Like, I told you to go watch other people. Go watch other people. See if they find this much freaking iron like I just did. Ah. Oh. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> I guarantee it. Alright. All I'm doing is I'm trying to keep this mildly organized in relevance to each other. I'm really gonna need another. Um. Bread doesn't really uh, heal you as much, but it's easy to farm once you have enough materials. You can farm in safety and with ease, so uh, there's really the really no caveat to it having um, so much uh, less uh, health restoration going on for it. All right. You know what, I, for the life of me, I can't remember what I was going to show you guys during the day. Oh yeah, I was going to make a bucket. Christ. I'll show you, I'll show off the saddle too. One, two, three. To make a bucket. Bada bing, bada boom, bada ba. Now, what I'm talking about with the source of the lava, the way physics work in this game with both lava and water is that there's a source block, and from that source block flows other blocks and um, you cannot pick anything up with the bucket unless it's a source shouldn't have more creepers going to come down and say hi to me so what I gotta do is it's never a good idea to dig beside or above lava for what I would hope would be obvious reasons um, <laughs> so I am going to dig a little bit above it I think this is a little bit above it. Well, I'll find out, won't I? One way or another. Oh, yeah. People uh, do things called incinerators. 
Like, you'll find yourself with a lot of different things. You'll be like, gee, I don't need all this freaking stone. Uh, how do you drop? Hang on a sec. Do, 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 do. Controls. Uh, drop Q. Alright, so. I don't need that stone. And I missed it completely. Well, if you hit the lava, it melts. Uh, I should never play basketball. There it goes. See, it's gone forever. We'll never come back. It's just gone. Bye bye, stone. Bye bye, happiness. Hello, inventory space. Aha. Now, this has to be the source block. So it flows down like that. So we're not going to have uh, lava flowing behind the house anymore. But we do have one freaking bucket of lava. Oh, yeah. Whoa, shit! Damn! <sighs> God damn fucking creepers. My fucking heart cannot take that kind of bullshit. Ugh. That's, and that's exactly what that was. What we just experienced, you know, as a family. <laughs> it was bullshit. Oh, here's where I found my first set of coal. Oh, my God. Damn it. Well, that's, that's, all that's done is slow down some demonstrations. I'll be right back there. Jesus Christ. So yeah, um, these other guys, uh, X is, uh, really good at designing things. Uh, also Matt G is eccentric with designing things. He just build things of such a grand epic scale, I have no idea how long he plays. Um, C Nanners just kind of plays for fun, doesn't really take it seriously. He's really goofy the whole time he's recording. And, uh, JX23... Uh, he's actually uh, very open to suggestions from uh, people who watch, and you know, so am I. But I, I've got things I want to do, and so far, this is probably going to make another—I don't know—this might make another six, seven videos, like before. So we're talking like twelve, fourteen videos, where uh, I hope all that lava had disappeared, and that nothing I dropped got incinerated by little leftover tidbits of lava. And I better get my fucking bucket back. I saw some of it went beyond the dirt here. Uh-huh. So, yes, there's the bucket of lava. Good. All right. Rearrange time. See you guys on the other side. All right, here we go. Damn it, I did not mean to, mean to play this long. Foxy is going to throw a fit. Panda, where have you been? Sorry if I have been playing Minecraft. Supposed to be hanging out right now. Whoops. Um, yeah, so. Now there's just a big crater where the lava used to be. And the cool thing about me having it in a bucket now, I should be using a shovel for that, um, is I can do this. I've got my own little source of lava that I can carry around with me. Check it out, I can even make my own lava waterfalls. Ha ha ha. Like I said, with water this would be much faster. But oh well. It just flows. As a matter of fact, that's how I'm going to make my own water slide. That's right, I'm going to make a water slide, bitches. Okay. And now I need a pig. I'll show you guys. Yeah, um, a bucket of lava can also be used as a heat source in the furnace. Burns a hundred blocks. Yeah! So if I can get... There's this thing. I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but it's a method where you can create infinite sources of water. I wonder if you can do that with lava. So if I can get one more bucket of lava... Can I ride a sheep, I wonder? No, it just has to be a pig. Wouldn't you know I can't find a freaking pig now? <sighs> Damn. 
wouldn't you just... There's some pigs! 